Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. And get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this Hey everyone, welcome to The Farm and Pastor's Wife. I'm so glad you're here. My name is Leslie and you are watching The Farm and Pastor's Wife and you're here in my kitchen down on the farm. It is Sunday night. It has been a rainy, dreary chillier day than normal for this time of year hold on and so um we're gonna have supper and so we're just bringing you guys along we're not doing anything fancy this is not a recipe there will be no recipe in the description or link or anything this is just come along with me while i fix supper and clean my kitchen i have these are clean dishes that have to be put away I have dirty dishes in the sink and we got to get supper going. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my pintos going. I canned pintos last year for the first time. Normally I cook them from dry and we love them. Absolutely love them. And of course I can't find my little, I have this fancy little jar opener and I love it. But anyway, um, I can't find it. So we're going to love that sound pop. So here are my home canned pintos. I don't know if one jar is going to be enough. I brought two in here. Um, but I'm thinking one jar, Caroline, Jamie, Judah, and Levi are coming. And I'm not sure how much to fix um, I don't know what to do let me ask Bryant what he thinks and we'll go from there but I'm gonna go ahead and get these on I'm gonna add just a little bit of water and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put water in here just to rinse this out I love the um, pinto juice and the thickness it gives it so I don't drain it and rinse it or anything I just go with it all right so I'm just going to get this heating up and I like to let them cook just a little bit um they didn't I mean they they they're soft the way they come out from the the jar but um I think cooking them a little bit longer gives them a even softer texture my um y'all know i am definitely from the south so we like our pintos nice and mushy and so okay let me tell you what else i'm gonna do this is not for supper but let me show you this we're going fishing tomorrow so that'll be tuesday's video for you guys that's going catfishing and um so I'm super excited and um, we've got to bring our snacks. So I'm going to take some crackers and nabs, what we call nabs. But I wanted uh, some good protein and hopefully I can stay away from the nabs. I'm not promising to stay away from the nabs, but I might can stay away from the nabs. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to fry us up some bacon to snack on and some pork belly to um, snack on. Um, some good protein and um, I'm uh, not worried so much about I, I want to try not to eat too many carbs but if whatever if I get hungry out there I'm just gonna eat whatever okay so now let's slice up our weenies we're having sauerkraut and weenies um, and, and we don't use, I used to use the red hot dogs. That's what I was raised eating in sauerkraut and weenies. That's what I was raised on. 
but we're good we use polish kielbasa and caroline is supposed to be bringing some macaroni and cheese um so that's what we're gonna have um i love sauerkraut weenies and i didn't as a little girl i did not like it at all Bryant is in there. Mm. And I believe he's on the phone. I can he I can hear him talking. Either he's talking to himself, he's praying, or he's on the phone. I'm not sure. But I hear him doing something. I, um, anyway, I love sauerkraut weenies now. And Judah and Levi love sauerkraut weenies, which shocks me because, like, I don't know many kids that do like it. To me, it's a, more of an acquired adult taste. But those little boys like some sauerkraut weenies. One just about rolled away. Hang on, I'll get you tilted down here so you can see what I'm doing. Um, I'm just slicing them in little rounds and um, since they're coming you know I want it to go I want it to go far farther so I am cutting it probably thinner than I normally would I normally would probably do it a little bit thicker Now, um, I don't make my own sauerkraut. I have before, um, but I just don't, I don't enjoy that process. I, I, a lot of homesteaders I know are doing the fermenting things. Um, and I, now I didn't mind making apple cider. That was pretty good. Um, but um, I didn't enjoy, and I, maybe it's because it, I felt like it was always in my way. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I just soon buy, and I'm used to store-bought sauerkraut versus homemade. So, all right. So here we go. I'm going to grab my, I love this pan. Look, you can see how much I use it. We've <laughs> It's just discolored and everything. But I'm just actually going to put this in a dry pan. I may add a little bit of butter or something in here in just a minute. But we're just going to get it going to start with. And get it going over here on the stove. All right, let's go get this going. I am going to add a little bit of butter to this, but it's okay for it to start off in a dry pan. All right, so I've just added the sauerkraut into the weenies. Um, I didn't get them. Uh, some of them got brown, but I like them all to be pretty brown. But I didn't get them quite as brown as I like them. But that's okay. Pintos are going. Yes, the stove is dirty. I have a frying pan on there where Bryant fixed him an egg this morning. There's Caroline waving at you guys. <laughs> She's in deep thought. And I'm now putting dishes away out of the dishwasher. So it'll be ready to put stuff into when we're done. So, oh, and Carol, I thought you were going to make this. No, I told you I'd bring the box over. And I told you to go ahead and make it. Okay, I've got to make mac and cheese. Okay, everybody, we're all in here in the kitchen talking about Jessica's little faux pas this week. Yes. Um, yes. She got stopped for speeding. Yeah. But um, we're getting ready to eat. <laughs> Look, Caroline's giggling. Bryant was all, <laughs> Bryant was all like consoling Jessica, and Caroline says, Daddy, that is not the response you would have given me if I'd have gotten a ticket. <laughs> Just says because she's the favorite. Daddy said because you were on my insurance when you got stopped. And Jessica's not. And Jessica's not. <laughs> How many tickets has Isaac got? Oh. <laughs> I don't believe I've known about all of these. I don't think he has either. <laughs> <laughs> I got some cold Isaac may not be on the insurance after tomorrow. <laughs> 
All right, we're getting ready to sit down and eat. We'll see you when I come back and fry up the bacon and the pork belly. And I don't know, we'll see you later for something. I know this is a short, odd video, but um, yeah, it's what it is. Okay, everybody, here's my pork belly all fried up and my bacon fried up and ready. I'll package it in just a little bit. Bryant's got the cooler out to clean up and we are getting ready. I know this is an odd video, but we're getting ready to go fishing tomorrow. So, um, this video today is going to be pretty short, but tomorrow's is going to be great. We're going to be catching catfish, hopefully, if they're biting. We hope they're biting. Okay, so we're going fishing tomorrow, and guess who showed up at our house? The Gordon's Fisherman. Just wait until you see the Gordon's Fisherman. He knew we were going fishing, so he showed up here at our house. Do y'all know who the Gordon's Fisherman is? Hang tight. There's Isaac, the Gordon fisherman. <laughs> He's, yeah, he brought us a bunch of fish sticks because he don't think we're going to catch any tomorrow. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Turn around. Let's see the back. Harris Teeter. <laughs> we don't know where he got it, but anyway. <laughs> All right. Okay, everyone. I'm ending this video right here. I will see you guys tomorrow with the fishing video. It is going to be amazing so be sure to come back and catch that catch that <laughs> and i will see you tomorrow remember if the grease is hot enough you can fry anything bye y'all